anything. Oh, Yang Yang, what's there to be shy about? If you want to see Rover, just tell him. So, what have you been up to these past few days? Feeling lonely without us around? Want to go see some fireworks? How about some moon shooting? With a festival just around the corner, there's a really cool spot we can take you to. Yes, it'll be the moon chasing festival in a few days. Though we celebrate this festival every year in Huanglong, given everything that has happened, this year's moon chasing festival in Jinzhou is sure to be quite special. Yeah, I caught them hanging lanterns all around City Hall. Every street and alley is going to be glowing. I can't wait to see it all lit up. And we've got special Jinzhou traditions you won't find anywhere else. Like tell you and Vale. Folks go there a few days before the festival to write their wishes onto paper. Then hang them on branches or toss them into Moon Tree Lodge. They say wishes made during these days are sure to come true. Works like a charm. Wanna give it a go? All you gotta do is write down your wish. Real simple. Yang Yang, Baija, and I are already here. Great! See you at Talion Vale. Come on, let us in on it. So, so you mean that big Mount Firmament thingy that shocked all of Jinzhou? Uh, no, wait, that shocked all of Huanglong was all because of you? Rover saves the day yet again. With the Thrinodian defeated, our Sentinel and the Jinjo Magistrate have resumed their duties. Jinjo will have peace and prosperity once more. 
Yes. A rover? And the Sentinel did give you certain insights about your memory loss. While there's still much to uncover, at least we're on the right track. At long last! We can finally have some fun! Hey, what better time to celebrate than the Moon Chasing Festival, right? You, me, Yang Yang, and Bai Cha, the four of us will have a great time munching on treats and enjoying looking at the full moon. And let's not forget about the Moonlit Fair. It's exclusive to Chin Chou, happening only on the night of the festival. There's so much to eat, drink, play, and see. Wait till I show you the biggest lantern show of the fair. I know a spot that has the perfect view. That's a wonderful idea. Let's enjoy the festival together. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interesting things to pique your interest. Everyone in Jinjo will be there. There's a high chance we'll run into some familiar faces. Then it's a deal. Mark my words. With us around, you'll be in for a moon chasing festival you'll remember for life. so distracted with everything else, I almost forgot about your wish for the wishing tree. It's a huge deal. You won't want to miss it. That's right. Remember what I told you about wishes made under the wishing tree coming true? There are stories of it flying around, especially in recent years. The wishes people make on the eve of the Moon Chasing Festival seem to come true in one form or another. A few years ago, Jin Zhou had endless rain. Yang Yang wished for clear skies for the festival and a perfect moonlit fair. And guess what? The rain stopped and the moon was full and bright. Exactly. I thought I'd try my luck, but it actually happened. Perhaps just a pleasant coincidence. The Moon Chasing Festival does have a history of such coincidences. Maybe there's something to the Wishing Tree's magic after all. Maybe there's a mysterious hero inside the wishing tree, making our dreams come true. Just like you. You save the world without anyone noticing. If you're not in the next season of Hero Place, I'm out. All right, better get to it before we chatter ourselves away again. The wishing tree is just up ahead. Off you go. We've already made our wishes. Mine's for the Moonlit Fair to draw in a huge crowd and for everyone to have a fantastic time. As for Yang Yang, she wished for endless happiness and happy reunions for all families. She's not really into wishes. Don't mind me. I tend not to make wishes. But if I did, it would probably be similar to Yang Yang's. There! You're the last one left. Oh, and don't forget about Abby. I'm sure the little guy doesn't want to miss out. Make one for me. Ugh, 
I want mm, lots of goodies to eat. Mm, I don't ever want to be hungry again. Yeah. Mm. Well, what did Abby say? Well, after you've finished at the Wishing Tree, come see us at the Moonlit Fair. Shizia and I will be helping out with preparations. <laughs> I'll be over at Qingxi's Moon Shooter Stall. It's not fully set up yet, but I can give you a sneak peek. Is that a robot? Wishes, wishes. Seems to be malfunctioning. Can't tell who left it here. I should try asking around. Excuse me, have you seen this robot before? Uh, do you know where it's from? It's acting a bit strangely. Uh, it looks like one of those robots from the Moon Tree Lodge. One of its parts must be broken. It's like the wishing well under the wishing tree. People toss their hopes and dreams in there and poof. <laughs> before you know it, someone makes them come true. You could even say it's part of the wishing tree, but wishes made at the lodge are more public. It's up to the wisher if they want to share. Anyhow, I saw that robot hovering around there earlier. Maybe that's where you should start your search. Moon Tree Lodge. Might as well drop by if it's at the wishing tree. Keep your eyes open. Something seems to have malfunctioned with you. I'll take care of it. One moment. Run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator, Xian Li Yao. Authentication confirmed. Performing onboard diagnostics, number 231. Onboard diagnostics failed. Feltering wishes. Beep, beep. Wishing for a brighter future. Glory on the battlefield. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. Beep, beep. Hmm. It's possible that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within. Wishes. Analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. 12. Correction. 4. Wishes and solutions. Could this relate to what Chisha said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge making wishes come true? 
and Xiang Li Yao. The name sounds familiar. Perhaps. Isolating abnormal data. Running data correction. There. Give it another go, Patty. Performing onboard diagnostics. All systems normal. Patty feels full. That should do the trick for now. But where could the anomalies have... I apologize for keeping you waiting. It's just a temporary measure. I'll need to conduct a thorough examination later. Thank you for returning him to me. Yes, I've heard a lot about you from my colleagues at the Academy. Many of them are eager to meet you. I hope their enthusiasm hasn't been too overwhelming for you. Xiang Li Yao, a pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the Academy, but I'm glad to finally have the chance to meet you. I merely provided a few ideas, but I'm glad I was able to help. I was assisting the Ministry of Development with the damaged surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd already left. The next time I heard any news about you was regarding the battle at the Norfall Barrens. This year's moon-chasing festival could only have proceeded thanks to your efforts. Well, come to think of it, I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. I'm afraid I'm not the owner of the Moon Tree Lodge. I'm just here to assist, collecting and trying to fulfill everyone's wishes. However, I do hope you can keep that between us. We imagine how disheartening it would be for people to learn their wishes were granted by a single person. I just want to do something within my power to pass on the joy we've all felt at least once in our lives. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Fulfilling wishes. Happy. What will you taste like, important guest? Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes analyzing their structure in a unique way. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? In that case, may I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? It's not far from here. Welcome. I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. We cannot accept new wishes at Moon Tree Lodge until I resolve the issue. I apologize for the inconvenience. I would be glad to take note of your wish and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. Take your time. We still have a little while before the Moon Chasing Festival. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward data error. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, 
During my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread drastically with the addition of each wish. Additionally, although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. It's too early to draw a conclusion just yet, but I can't leave the matter unresolved. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. I've isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes, pinpointing the source of the discrepancies. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root cause of these anomalies. But before that, I need to try to decode the wishes corrupted by these anomalies. To minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. With careful planning, It does have its challenges, but everyone's hopes and dreams for the festival are in these wishes. I don't intend to let them down. Yes, Ying Ying and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. I appreciate the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. See, thank you. Well then, the Moon Tree Lodge welcomes its newest member. Seems we have a new friend now, Patty. You, Shanley, Yao, and Patty, wishes come true. Organize Moonlit Fair. Yes, the lodge opens to the public before the Moonlit Fair but it still remains an important element of the festivities. The market vendors like to tailor their offerings according to everyone's wishes. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair, and preparations are well underway. Perhaps some of your friends will be among those attending. If you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. Initiating analysis. This individual wishes to disappear from this world, indicating a desire to terminate their existence and for all associated social connections to be erased. Feasibility, 0%. Causing physical harm or manipulating human memories are actions strictly prohibited. This is Shang Li, Patty's work buddy. Patty gathers and analyzes the wishes, and Shang Li helps make them become a reality. <sighs> uh, 
Shang Li is the first prototype of its series, and we used to call it by its serial number. My colleagues at the academy began calling it Little Shang Li out of convenience, and over time, it became the name we use now. <laughs> well, it seems to like this name a lot, so consider it a birthday gift from everyone at the academy. Analysis conclusion. The wish exhibits strong self-denial and self-destructive tendencies, indicating a high level of danger. Prompt physical care and psychological intervention are advised. Patty does not understand this wish. Patty does not, cannot hurt humans. Just as I've suspected, this is the reason why this wish failed to be interpreted. The desire to disappear directly conflicts with Patty's underlying logic of not being able to harm humans. Written words are different from data. Data represent precise and unified content, while words may harbor meanings deeper than they seem on the surface. It is often the case that words spoken aloud sometimes contradict our innermost thoughts. Those willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope their desires will be chosen and fulfilled. This suggests that Xiao Sheng still hopes for his voice to be heard. This is just my personal belief, but I suspect he's not truly ready to give up. I think the thought pains him. Which means he's... Yes, I believe that is the case. I want to uncover the true desire hidden in his wish and help him fulfill it. Will fulfilling his true wish help to ease his suffering? Yes, I hope it will. We should start by locating the Wisher. If I recall correctly, there is no Xiao Sheng at the Academy, so it's likely a pseudonym. Fortunately, we know that he's a researcher, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to find him. And this paper, it's from a type of notebook commonly used at the Academy. There are faint traces of another type of writing on it. Seems to be some kind of code. I'll decipher these codes, and then we can... Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Investigator shang -Li, we have a problem. We've got trouble in the lab. Prototype 49's core has gone out of control. Emergency protocols failed, and it's overheating as we speak. Lock down the lab. I'm on my way. What about the experiment locks? Already sent to your terminal, sir. All right. Tell everyone to stay calm. We still have time. There's been a momentary setback in the research. I need to handle it right away. I'm afraid I'll have to leave the task of finding Xiao Sheng to you. Thank you. I'll meet up with you as soon as I have the issue resolved. Here, take Shang Li with you to help with the investigation. I already have a few speculations as to the contents of the code. I'll call you once it's confirmed. Good luck, my friend.
Leave it to me. Now where the hell is it? All is fair in the war. Useless idiots! Leave it to me. One with the sound. Endure and defy.
alert. The person ahead is confirmed to possess information related to Xiaosheng. Based on the writing style, paragraphing habits, and content of the wish, it can be inferred that Xiaosheng is likely introverted and may exhibit nervousness in public settings, difficulty in communication, and a preference for solitary activities. These characteristics match this individual's behavior. A definitive conclusion cannot be drawn. Master requests that Shang Li avoid making judgments about humans solely based on their external appearances. According to my data analysis, there is a 25.4% correlation between these two individuals. Shang Li proposes you make the decision on whether to proceed. Wow, what a cute little robot. Would it feel weird to ask if I could do a sketch of it? I'll just do it at a distance once they've walked away. weather conditions, detecting a rapid increase in air humidity and a significant drop in air pressure. Data suggests rainfall should be expected within the next few hours, covering 60% of the Jinjo area. Um, uh, that's right. The weather isn't actually all that great. I didn't realize. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think you mean anything bad. I'm just not very good at talking to strangers, that's all. M my name is Jiaqi. Um, nice to meet you. the sounds of spring's dawn yet do you mean to tell me they're changing the requirements again speculation the Xiao Sheng mentioned by both parties does not appear to be the same individual Um, excuse me, but is something wrong? goes by the name Xiao Sheng? Maybe a shy researcher? I've never heard of anyone by that name. Sorry I couldn't help. I, I don't have a wide social circle, mostly just my painting clients. But I'll let you know if I do. I'll be on my way then. Goodbye!
affirmative. The individual showed no signs of abnormalities when mentioning the name Xiaosheng. Might as well ask another researcher. Detected. Individual meeting search criteria. Analyzing target identity. Researcher of the Department of Laboratory Evaluation, Huashu Academy. Suggested topics of inquiry. Been tossing and turning all week. Can't switch off these thoughts at night. I can't take it any longer. Been scrolling through the forums lately? There's this thing blowing up called Nighttime Blue Syndrome on the Hawashu Hive. Definition of noun. Nighttime Blues Syndrome. A popular term used to describe the state of today's youth that have lost their enthusiasm towards life due to excessive work and life stress. Symptoms include avoiding social engagements, reluctance to work, insomnia, and signs of depression. Further analysis reveals an 87% correlation between the syndrome's traits and the emotional state of Xiaosheng, inferred from the wish made at the time. A few colleagues from other departments even used it as an excuse to ask for leave yesterday. They wrote, The world is such a wonderful place, filled with different kinds of sadness to experience each day. Ugh, lucky bastards. Taking time off whenever they want. And look at us, sweating bullets over research with no results in sight. How are we supposed to sleep? Is that the latest thing? You know, I don't usually visit those forums, but on this term, maybe it's because everyone's feeling the pressure lately. Relax, take some time off. You can leave the rest of your work to me. And don't let it get into your head. Smile, and everything will be a-okay. <laughs> you sure are optimistic at a time like this. Anyway, I really need to pass out for a while. She's all yours. Um, hello? Are you listening to our conversation the whole time? Anything I can help you with? Wait a second, it's you, isn't it? The one who sucked in a tacit discord with your bare hands. I didn't expect to meet you at a place like this. Art Xiaosheng. <laughs> Pretty average name, if you ask me. But I've never heard of anyone with that name at the Academy. Can you provide any extra information? Uh, uh, maybe I can help you find him. Searching Nighttime Blues Syndrome and Xiaosheng as keywords. There are 417 relevant results found. Search results consist of forum posts made under the username Xiaosheng. Example result, another day today. Wait a minute. Analyzing someone's online behavior without their consent is a violation of robotics protocols. Searching protocol confirmed. Violation of protocol detected. Shangli, I'm sorry. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Apologies. <laughs> oh, well, its creator gave it some good features. It's fine. But do you mind me asking, why are you looking for Xiaosheng in the first place? This question involves the individual's privacy. We are unable to disclose any details to those not directly involved. I understand. Uh, speaking of which, this robot looks rather familiar. Could it be from the Moon Tree Lodge by any chance? I see. Well, I heard that wishes made at the Moon Tree Lodge tend to come true. I was thinking of trying it out myself at some point. Hmm. It's almost time to set up the centrifuge. I need to make my way back and check on the samples. No information was obtained regarding Xiaosheng's identity. Acquired new keyword. Yes. We can always check the forums for any updates later. Now then, let's try our luck somewhere else.
Attention. During our conversation with Shefan, another researcher was detected within close. Oh. You found me. I was just about to come talk to you anyway. You were eavesdropping on our conversation. Please explain your behavior. Sorry about that, but but I had a good reason for doing it. I can help you with the person you're looking for. You want to help him fulfill the wish he submitted with a pseudonym, but you don't know his real identity. Please don't take this the wrong way. My name is Zhou Li. Xiao Sheng's my friend, and I know who he really is. And as a matter of fact, you've already met him. No, it's Shafan. He probably realized who you were as well. Explains why he made up an excuse and left in a hurry. <sighs> I was just as surprised as you were when I first found out that Xiao Sheng was actually Shifan. The two of us grew up together, went to school together, and entered the academy together. He's always been the center of attention, easygoing, always fitting in effortlessly. But at some point in time, he started writing these negative posts on the forums. It didn't take me long to figure out Xiao Sheng was him. I know his writing style too well. Every time I asked him, he'd always wriggle his way out of it. And he started distancing himself from me and even transferred himself to another project team. Oh, that's from an accident during an experiment involving echoes a while back. It wasn't too bad, but it did leave a few symptoms. I haven't been able to operate any precision instruments since then. At first, I thought that maybe Shifan started distancing himself from me because I couldn't continue to work on his project anymore. But deep down, I knew he was not that kind of person. So, I have a request. I want to know what kind of wish he made, and if possible, I want to help make it come true. I want to know what happened to him. The integrity of Joe Lee's information is estimated to be at around 99%. In order to fulfill the wish, providing relevant information is recommended. So that's how it is. Is he blaming himself for my injury? But that's not true. I've never felt that way. He wrote that wish, but he's still the man he was before. He still smiles and comforts others and helps people whenever they're in a difficult spot, which makes me feel even more worried for him. Thank you for telling me all this. I'm afraid Shifan and I aren't on talking terms at the moment, but maybe he'll listen to you. He's been fascinated by echoes ever since he was a child. Echo-related research, he loves echoes so much. And now, he's given up on it completely. And I think this might be a good place to start to have him open up to you. Please, if you find out what his wish is, be sure to let me know. Hi there. How are things on your end? Transferring progress log. Transfer complete. Fantastic. It appears everything has been going smoothly. Long story short, I've managed to decipher the code from earlier. It's echoes. The code mentions three echo sample data sets Shifan once needed for his research. According to the Academy's archives, his research partner, Joe Lee, had an accident while searching for these echoes. Shifan shut down the project shortly after. I hope this data can be of help to you. Once I've wrapped up here at the Academy, I'll meet you as soon as I can. Well then, it's time to look for some echoes.
Target echoes acquired. Task complete. Well done. I knew you could do it. Transmission is normal? Yes. It's one of Shanli's features. I can join you on your travels this way. I'll remotely control Shanli, ensuring our audio-visual and movement modules are in sync to keep our communications seamless. It's our quickest way to connect. Plus, I suspect Shifan might find it difficult to open up in front of a colleague from the Academy. So, without further ado, let's be on our way. You're back again. Uh, no luck finding Xiaosheng? What do you mean? This... This is echo testing data. What are you planning on doing with... Wait. Where did you get this data? Shang Li and the rover are researching echoes but have hit a dead end. They heard that Mr. Shifan is an expert in this particular field and are seeking his help. That was a long time ago. Oh, very well. What do you want to know? The data you gave me is packed with motion values. I would start by understanding how the echo adapts to different geographies. And these numbers... If we cross-reference them with standard values, the fitting coefficient nearly hits one. It looks like your model's direction might be on track. Oh, the more I look at this data, the more I think... Had it reached me earlier... Things might have been different. This data, how much do you want for it? I'll pay anything. No, even with this, I can't do it on my own. What, what do you mean? You have always had regrets both for your friend and for your echo research i i don't get your meaning there was a serious accident during the experiment and i was the one who shut it down How could I... <coughs> we saw the wish you made at the moon tree lodge but it seems that may not be what you truly wish for your true wish is to continue your research of Echoes with the one and only friend who understands your passion. Is this correct? <laughs> I never thought my wish would actually be heard. You're right. I am Xiao Sheng, The loser who spends his nights complaining in bed. A washed up expert. I worked hard to get myself into the academy. My best friend was a real genius, and I was just an ordinary person who had to work my ass off in order to catch up with him. We promised to push the boundaries in Echo Research. I always believed we could produce groundbreaking results, maybe even touch the essence of the lament through our research. But due to my carelessness, he lost his chance to walk through that door completely.
Yet, my stubbornness in continuing the experiment without adequate samples led to irreversible harm to my friend. I chose to continue the testing. That's why he missed the window for treatment. Not once did I visit him during the final test periods, and I was the only one left on the project. It wasn't a surprise the experiment failed in the end. It wasn't until I sat alone in the empty lab that I realized. Maybe everything I sacrificed, even my friend's future, was all for nothing. I had hurt my friend, given up on a career, and worked on something I wasn't actually interested in. But when I lie in bed awake at night, I feel regret all over again. I know I can't give up Echo Research. My obsession torments me, but I don't deserve to pursue it anymore. Oh, obsession. I've heard enough! Pull yourself together already! Jolie, where did you... I'll tell you right now, I never blamed you for what happened. I felt the same as you right from the start. On our path of pursuing new discoveries, I was willing to pay any price. What I don't accept is you calling quits halfway. But... I'm not done yet. Okay. It blows my mind that this is why you stopped talking to me. While I'm at it, you haven't changed a bit since we were kids. You get in the habit of running away from any problems you face that are non-research related. I'm... I'm sorry. It is wonderful to have someone to support you on the journey to achieve greatness in research. It seems even without our help, this wish has been fulfilled. This in turn indicates that Shaosheng's wish is not the source of the abnormal codes. Yes, there are more wishes to decipher. Now, we should make our way back to the Moon Tree Lodge. Hello. I hope you've been well. Remember how I mentioned that the stall vendors at the Moonlit Fair will adjust... offerings based on everyone. Excellent themes. Maybe we can start preparing for them. Thank you. 
Leave it to me. Nowhere to hide.
I will be there for everyone. Guide me. Leave it to me.
does bear some similarities to the one written by Shifan. This shows that, just like Shifan, the woman who wrote this wish is desperate for help. We need to consider this carefully. Indeed, the wish shows a struggle between her longing and a promise she made to her son. She speaks of another world, likely hinting her child has passed away leaving her alone with nobody to care for her. We can't draw a conclusion solely based on words alone. I'm curious as to what drove her to write these words. Her Aang and her son. What's their story? What promise did they share? What is it? Is there something on your mind? No, nothing. It's just that... Is it really for us to take on a wish tied to life and death? She knows the pain of separation from a loved one better than anyone else. If we handle this wrong, it might... So that's what you're worried about. It seems what Bai just said about you is true. You do have a gentle soul. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming the mysterious wish-granter of Moon Tree Lodge yourself? You're right to be concerned, but... The Moon Tree Lodge's very existence is to have every wish be heard. Ignoring people's pain isn't right. Besides, we're not trying to force Mrs. Herring to make a choice. Our role is to listen, understand, and reflect. Ultimately, the choice lies in Mrs. Herring's hands, but it's getting late. Let me know when you're ready for our next task. Excuse me? 
You must be Mrs. Herting. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh, hello. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Who might you be? My name is Xiang Li Yao, and this is the rover. I apologize for the unannounced visit, ma'am. Rover? Rover? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, I remember now. You're the hero of Jinzhou, aren't you? Defeated that terrible beast. Everyone's been talking about it. My thanks to you. You've realized my son, since he was little, my boy dreamed of shielding me and all of Jinzhou. He'd always say, I'll conquer the Thranodian one day. So everyone, huh, yes. I always had faith that my son would achieve his dreams. He never stopped striving. Once, he and some rangers stayed behind during a mission to give folks like me a chance to flee. I know he did it to chase his dreams, but... But now he's gone. And he'll never witness the defeat of the Thranodians. I just... Oh. We used to celebrate every moon-chasing festival at the stalls. And he'd make wishes at the Moon Tree Lodge. His mischief sometimes tried my patience. But now, the silence is overwhelming. I can't help but wonder if, if he's lonely wherever he is. Oh, perhaps I should join him. But before he left, he made me promise to be witness to the day the Thranodians are finally gone. What am I to do? Oh dear. I've rambled on about my boy again. What brings you here to- Do you remember the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, Mrs. Herting? Well, of course. I do. Everyone knows the Moon Tree Lodge has magical powers. I see. You must have been sent here to help me fulfill my wish. Is that right? You granted his wish beautifully. I trust you might do the same for mine. Though, really, I have nothing much left to ask for. As I've mentioned in my wish, I find myself at a crossroads, unable to decide. I hope the Moon Tree Lodge can clear my doubts. When deciding your answer... Oh, yes. I recall they say it's best to speak the answer in front of the Moon Tree... Oh, yes, absolutely. Mrs. He Ing, might you consider a visit to the lodge with us? The Taoyuan Vale is preparing for the moonlit fair, and the atmosphere is quite lively. Perhaps a walk will lift your spirits. A walk? Oh, my heart hasn't really been in it since I lost my son. Well, okay. If you think it might help find the answers, then perhaps we should try. What was that about? <laughs> it was just a little trick to get Mrs. Herting to join us at the lodge. You probably sensed it after hearing her story. The promise between Mrs. Herting and her son wasn't just about seeing his wish granted, but about finding peace in her life. In her grief, Mrs. Herting overlooked what her son truly wished for. I believe he wanted her to see Jinjo uniting to defeat the Thranodian, and the joy and security he sacrificed himself to safeguard. His wish for his mother represents not just life's simple joys, but also the courage to keep living. Though I can't say for certain, the moonlit fair in Taoyuan Vale holds the dreams of many. Perhaps there's something her son wanted her to see. A reason to embrace life. Oh, how are you youngsters falling behind an old lady? Come on, I'm waiting on you.
This year's moon chasing festival sure is lively. Indeed it is. Look at the crowd. Oh, so many things I've never seen before. It's quite exciting. You young folks must be thrilled with all this. Go on, enjoy yourselves. Don't mind this old lady. Mrs. Helling has been doing her best to stay cheerful since we arrived at Tao Yuan Vale. Let's take her to see more of the fair. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Would you like to browse our fan paintings? This one is exquisite. Just look at the fireworks bursting to life on the fan. I've never seen anything like it. You have excellent taste, Mum. This fan is the creation of Ms. Judger. It's the Moon Chasing Festival from her imagination. The fireworks seem to fly to the other side of the fan. And these capes! Ah, oh, yes. They represent the Midnight Rangers. A special touch from Ms. Juja. She hopes that everyone who sees this fan will feel the liveliness of the Moon Chasing Festival and remember that the festivities are all thanks to the brave rangers. The fireworks flying to the other side are meant to share the celebration with the soldiers on the front lines. This year's fireworks display will be the biggest yet. Even the soldiers should be able to see it. You won't want to miss it. I'd like to buy one of these fans. My, Taoyuan Vale hasn't been this busy in a long. Ah, the Moon Shooter Gallery. My son was so good. Every year at the Moonlit Fair, it was his favorite. Mrs. Her. <clears throat> Happy Moon Chasing Festival, everyone. Want to give the Moon Shooter game a try? Lots of rewards to be had. Here are your prizes. These prizes? Did you make them yourself? That's right. The Moonlit Fair is about community, so we thought practical items would be more meaningful. A ranger instructor taught us how to make them. Even though he's no longer with us, his instructions and methods continue to guide us. These tools were a great help when we first joined the Rangers. We've now improved them to help even more people. Please take them, Mrs. Herring. I'm sure Shou Yuan would want you to have them. And you are... You might not remember, but after Shou Yuan passed, I tried to visit you. You didn't want to see me then. I never expected we'd meet here. It's good to see you out and about. Show you when always talked about how good a mother you were. By the way, some of the soldiers who served with Show You En are here today. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Look, here they come. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mrs. Hoeing. Show You was an incredible mentor to me. 
I wouldn't have the nerve to wield a weapon now if it wasn't for him. I heard you were the one who taught him how to overcome his fear of the water. So, the boy taught you everything I taught him. Mrs. Herring? Mrs. Herring? Oh, I'm still here. Please, go on. I'd love to hear more stories about Shoyuan's time with the rangers. Of course, ma'am. Why don't we go have a seat over there first? We've got plenty of stories to share with you. Before that, thank you, Shangli Yao and Rover. Just as I said before, I knew that both of you would make my wish come true. But before I visit the Moon Tree Lodge for the answer, I'd like to walk around a bit more on my own. I trust that this answer will be right for you. Yes. Thank you, both. Do you think Mrs. Hung understood the promise she made to her son? We can't be sure just yet, but at least she's made a good start. Don't you agree? Now she isn't just going along with us. She's searching for the life her son wanted for her. I believe she'll uncover her answer someday and make her own choice, without relying on the Moon Tree Lodge. But it means this wasn't the wish affecting Patty either. We'll have to keep digging. At any rate, more stalls are being set up in Taoyuan Vale. Care to explore further?
mother told me the moonlit fair will start when... Told me the moonlit fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wish.
think you can catch up? Mother told me the Moonlit Fair will start once the wish... Mother told me the Moonlit Fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Everyone's wishes. They'll come true, won't they?
another day and I will be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future leaving the past behind Mother told me the Moonlit Fair will start once the Wishing Tree is filled with wishes. Flame on! Oh my. Taoyun Vale hasn't been this busy in a long time. Catch up! <laughs> <laughs> 